just doing a tutorial for Turn the Page. And um, this is Dave Fenley's version. Um, I know Bob Seeger and many others cover it. Um, it's for beginners, but I would give the basic way for a beginner. And what Dave Fenley does in his version, he has a little picking pattern. Sometimes he throws in now and again. Plus he has lots of hammer-ons on multiple chords. I think a beginner, hammer on now and again on an E minor is sufficient throughout the song until you get used to it and the picking pattern he does now and again can be a little bit tricky. We'll do a single strum for the song but the main strum pattern is a down, down, up, 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 down, down, up and that's it. So it's down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Um, now and again when he does throw on the hammer on, especially when the E minor, it's the, after you do the first strum pattern and you're playing through the songs, it's now and again, I think it's on the first down strum, he's hammering on. So I'll give you a wee demonstration. So on that first, that first down strum there, he's just hammering on. I would stick with that until you get used to it. You can see him. Now and again he lifts off the fingers when he's doing the D and he's he's messing about. He's just making it his own sort of wee variation and gives it a bit of a lift and makes the song sound even nicer again. But that's for you to practice and do that and get to that stage. But for, you can start off on these basic chords and it'll run you through the song fine. Um, the picking pattern he does, which is would be the, the sixth string open, fifth string on the second fret, which he hammers on. And then he picks the 4th string 2nd fret and then he picks the 6th string open. So open 6, hammer on 5 on 2nd fret, open uh, 4 on 2nd fret and open 6. That's a bit tricky, it's just me messing about there, but that's a bit tricky for a uh, beginner especially. And advanced players will have take a bit of time getting used to that. Um, but the main, strong, the main song is an E minor, a D, an A major, and a few times he plays a C in one of the main choruses where he sings Here I Am On The Road Again, or Here I Am On The Road. Um, so the song starts off on an E minor. so. On a long and lonesome highway, on East Omaha, you can deal with the engine. Deep on an island on my song, you can tell about the woman. Or think about the woman, sorry, on the A. Or the girl you knew the night before. On the E. And then, what your thoughts have been wondering with the E minor, the way they always do. When you ride 16 hours with a D, there's nothing much to do, and you don't feel like riding with A. Just where's the trip was through? The E minor. And here I am with the D on the road. With the E, and here there I am with the D upon the stage. With the E minor. Here I go with the D, playing the star again with the A. There I go with the C, D, turn the page. So that one. There I go, C, D, turn the E. And then, when you walk into a restaurant with an E, and string out the from the road, and you D, you don't feel like open up, sorry, and you feel like eyes are up on you shaking off the gold and the you pretend it doesn't bother you with the A but the, tonight you just want to explode sorry I'm just right I've just the words roughly wrapped down here bits and pieces um, just to keep me right I don't, I don't know I actually know the song but it is a nice song where you listen to it a few times but I don't really I've never actually heard it before so um, be patient I'll give it a wee run through um, with a strum pattern and let's see if it'll help. On the long and lonesome highway, on the ease of my heart, you can listen to the engine, on an app that will
enjoy the song throughout. Um, hopefully, by me going slow at the start, you've seen all the chords, you'll be able to write them down. And then, when you, when you see me speeding up, going faster, hopefully it's, it's uh, become doable. You'll, you can see where my chords come in. It's kind of tricky for that strum pattern. I would stick with the single strums until you get more confident and the speed built up. It's because switching chords uh, back and forth, especially when it goes from the the C, D to the E, like it's kind of it's not very fast, but it's not quick enough, especially for somebody who's only new to it. So you just have to be patient. If you keep practicing, that you will become um, good, and there's, there's no doubt in that. As long as you put in the practice and take your time and get there, be patient. That's what it's all is about patience. Hopefully this year um, lesson does help some of you out there, especially you Jonathan, as you requested this song. And I wish you, you all the best and all the thumbs ups and likes and shares and subscribes. I really much appreciate it. Um, you do the, I do these videos for nothing, so it's 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 nice to give give, you know. So good luck and I hope it does you well. If you have any questions, if it's there's something I'm not doing, it's it's not making you happy or that there, please get in touch and I just I'll even redo the video and try and make it better for you. Um so good luck and take care.